half a second to to start, uh, sorry, to have the duration. So I'm going to use the same delay. So when the fade finishes on the top one, it will then start the second one. So we'll try this now. So as you can see with the name layer, it started straight away because there was no delay. It went for half a second and then it faded up like so. So that's faded up. And then on the second layer, we waited half a second. So the top one would appear and then we made the second one appear. So that's how you would animate the layers. Now, sometimes you want multiple things to be happening. So you've got your layer selected, but you want the text to appear after the box or something. So now I'm going to show you how to set that up. So I'm just going to go to none here. It's important if you're not using that transition to use none, otherwise you'll get confused and you'll be like, where are these transitions coming from? But you can always check where the transitions are uh, by clicking this here. It will show all of the animations you've got set up um, on the title. Okay, so now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this rectangle here and I'm going to transition just the rectangle in first and then do the text and then do the other rectangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fade this one in. So the blue rectangle will fade, we'll make it a 0.5 here. And so that's the first thing that will happen will be this blue rectangle will fade. So we'll try this now. So there we go, that's going to fade up. So then what we want to do is um, now we need to line up the name. So for the first one, because we took a duration of 0.5 and we want the name to start after um, the rectangles appeared, what we're going to do is I'm going to fly this in from the top and I'm going to set a delay to 0.5 so that it's only going to happen after the rectangles appeared. I'll make this 0.5 as well. So basically what this is going to do is going to fly in from the top of the layer here and appear um, after 0.5 of a second. So that's now what we've got set up. So we've got the, the rectangle fades up, then the name slides in from the top of the layer. Now you notice that before, um, if you set up a layer transition for the entire layer, it's going to come from, like say we set a bounced or a fly and it's actually gonna come from the edge of the canvas. But because we're working within the layer, the transitions underneath this layer, it's going to be within the layer. So the, the fly transition will only be from the top of this layer, it won't be from the edges. All right, so now we've got those two. Now we need to set up the bottom one. So we'll go to the, the white rectangle here. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to do a reveal. So I'm going to reveal from the top. Now I'm gonna set a delay of one second. So we're adding up the transition for the blue rectangle, which is 0.5, the name was 0.5. And so now we're going to do the white rectangle, which will be a delay of 0.5. And I'll make this duration 0.5 here too. It's gonna to come down from the top. So what this is gonna do is reveal this white box from the top. Okay, so then we've got that, and now we just need to do the title. So what do we want to do for this? Um, probably um, we can do something cool. We'll go a reveal. So we'll go, what we'll do is reveal this from the center. Now, what was the delay? It should be 1.5 if we add all those up. Make the duration, we'll make this 0.4. Whoops, we'll make it 0.4. A little bit different. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a reveal from the center. And then we're going to select the X axis. So what that's going to do is going to reveal out from the center. So let's try it out. So now that's how we set up a transition in for all of these different um, elements. So we have two layers, but then each of the elements are animated differently on those uh, underneath those layers. So that's what we've got set up. So another cool thing that we can do is that we can actually have multiple transitions. So you notice here we've got the transition in, but then we also have three levels here. So we can set different levels for these animations. So the first one you notice is green, which means it has a fade transition. So if it's green, it means it's got an animation on it. Um, again, if you wanna check to see whether there's any animations, you can click that button there. Okay, so what I can do now is I can add a second transition to it. So I'm gonna select the second layer here and then I'm going to click rotate. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, well, let's just make it spin on its axis like that. So basically what it's going to do, the first layer will, um, it's set to fade at a 0.5 duration, it's got no delay on it. And the second one is set up the same as well. So what it's gonna do now is it's gonna combine them because it's using the same duration. So it's going to fade and rotate at the same time for this blue rectangle. Why you'd wanna do this, I don't know, but this is something that you can do. So there you go. 
that's setting them up at the exact same time. Now we can also delay this. So for example, I wanted to rotate this, you know, later on. So I could set a three second delay on this. Um, and then what it's going to do is it's going to fade in like it normally should. So here it's going to fade in at a 0.5 duration. But then after three seconds, it's actually going to then uh, rotate for some reason. So yeah, that's how you can set multiple things. You can set three levels on them. Um, you can do that for all of the transitions if you wanted to. So yeah, that's, uh, that's something that you can do with the transitions. Now I'm going to show you how to transition out. So in order to transition out, you need to select that from the menu here. Now, typically what I like to do is do the layer. So I like to transition out for the entire layer. It just makes the timing a whole lot easier. And typically when you're transitioning out, you don't really want the same number of elements and all kinds of crazy things happening. You just want to get it out of there. All right, so what you can do is, what I'm going to do is set up this name layer. So basically, uh, actually I'll set up the title layer. So what I want the title layer to do is to go back up, uh, unreveal itself basically. So I've selected the title layer here and I'll make sure that I select transition out here. Then I'm going to select reveal and I'm going to make it reveal um, this way. So I don't want the duration to be too long. Um, I don't want there to be any delay on it because I want it to happen first. Um, so now I'm going to press this and then it's going to reveal. So you notice that the entire layer revealed or unrevealed itself back up to the top when I press that. Um, so that included everything in there. So I didn't have to do the title and the rectangle separately. I can do the entire layer. So now for the top layer, what I want to do is transition that out as well. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with reveal, but I'm going to set it to the axis reveal. So like we did the text before, um, we're going to make this unreveal itself. Now what I probably should have done is added a bit of a delay on that. Um, so that it didn't happen at the same time. So we'll go with a 0.5 delay. So there we go. That's um, how we transition out. So we've got that all done and it should be good to go. Okay, so that's how you set up a basic transition in and transition out for either your layer or the elements on the layer. And so now we're gonna save it and add it to vMix. So I'm gonna go to File, Save, um, let's call this something. Save that. All right, so now we just go to add input, go to title, and then if you watch the other tutorial, you noted that if you go to the recent tab, anything that you've saved recently in the GT title designer will actually appear here. So we can select it just from this menu or you can browse for it as well. Um, so here, as you remember from before, we called this layer title uh, and that name. So what I could actually do is to make it a little bit easier to make more sense, what I can actually do now is go back here and just move these layers. So I've got the name layer up the top and then the title layer underneath. So when I go to vMix, name will be up the top, title will be there. So now we just need to make sure that we save this uh, and then I'll go back to vMix and um, we'll right click on it to reload it. Uh, and now we'll right click to title editor. So now we've got name up the top and then title. So that's right and good to go. Now, in order to transition this in, we can use one of the overlay channels. So if we go to overlay, now what I like to do is to have cut here. So if I use cut as the transition for my overlay, it means that it's gonna use all of the transitions as they should be in um, the GT title designer. If I make it anything else, like if I made it a fly, vMix is gonna try and fly it in at the same time as doing as the, um, the other transitions, which is if you've gone to the effort of creating those transitions, um, it's not worth doing this in here. So I usually set it to cut here for my transition. I'm just gonna add a video so you can see what it looks like. Uh, let's cut to this one here. And now I'm just gonna overlay this. And as you can see, it fades in and does all the things. 